Hi queens, welcome back to another designer or dupe video. Should you splurge or should you save? If you're new or this is your first time seeing one of these videos, we're gonna quickly go over what a dupe is and what a dupe is not. Coming from Vogue Business, and I'll pop it up on the screen, um, dupes are alternatives to premium or luxury products, but they do not replicate trademarked logos or details, meaning they are legal and not counterfeit. So a dupe is just has the traits of a very popular luxury item. That's how I like to look at it, right? Just because you can't afford the designer item shouldn't mean, in my opinion, that you can't enjoy a detail of an item, right? A counterfeit item is that's supposed to be LV, we're putting LV on our back too, and we want people to think it's LV. As opposed to, I like the chain detail on that LV bag, I'm gonna look for a bag that has a similar chain detail would be a dupe. So my first designer or dupe is the one I was probably the most excited about. He's Steve Madden, little slides. The name is the Maven slide. And this is a dupe of the Hermes Chipri sandal, which is super popular. It's also very hard to get. So even if you go into a store, they're usually sold out. If you look online, they're not available. This for me was like a good way to test it out. And this is the colorway I was interested in for the Chipri sandals. A big difference that I can already tell you is that this is a lot more narrow and runs smaller. So I would say get a half size bigger if you're interested, but they feel amazing. They're super comfortable. I wore these to the airport, walked around all day, like through the airport. It was, I had two flights, very comfortable, very soft. Amazing. They do have the Velcro just like the Hermes version. So you can, you know, make them tighter if your feet are narrow or you can, you know, make them looser if your feet are wide. You can see the comparison. Um, the Chipre sandals are all leather. They do have a wider fit, like I said, and they are gonna be better quality. The Steve Madden Maven um, has a leather upper, like I said, more narrow fit, a synthetic sole, but they are very comfortable. Another thing I've heard, I've seen the Hermes shoes in person, but I've never tried them on. I have heard that they take a while to break in. They do get comfortable, but a lot of people say they get like blisters and their feet get really sore the first couple times trying to break them in. These <laughs> Steve Madden ones right out the box, wore them to the airport, didn't need any breaking in. They felt amazing. So for this designer or dupe, I'm gonna give it to the dupe. Go brother Steve. Once again, you've done it. Next up is a really good one. And it's gonna be the Fendi. I'll pop up a picture because I don't have it, but I have friends who have it. The Fendi Fendography bag, Fendigraphy bag, and this stunning Charles and Keith bag. So this is called the Mini Woven Hobo. Comes with a long strap, just like the Fendography. I think this is such a cute little summer bag. Um, the Fendi bag is raffia and obviously real leather. Um, and it comes with a crossbody strap as well. And then the big difference is the Fendi logo on the bottom. The Charles and Keith bag is made of straw and faux leather. And it also comes with a, a crossbody just the same as the Fendi bag. Again, amazing quality. I've talked about Charles, Charles and Keith bags before. They do great designs. Again, inspired by, but they're not trying to be the same thing. They can. They took kind of the silhouette. They did their own kind of colorway in it. It's Charles and Keith right on the front. It's not trying to be something it's not, but it is inspired by what's popular. I'm gonna have to <laughs> give it to the dupe again. Um, I've looked at the Fendography so many times and for me, it just was never worth pulling the trigger on. Next up is a super popular one that I was really for sure that I thought it was gonna go one way and it went another way. So the Miu Miu sandal boot versus the Jeffrey Campbell knee high sandal. So I actually have them both here because I initially saw the Miu Miu boot and I thought that's super cool, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear it a lot. So I immediately went to find a dupe. And brother Jeffrey Campbell, I mean, he's right there with brother Steve, um, always trying to give you the vibes, right? So this boot comes in a few colors. Um, it comes in, I think two different tans, um, one in nylon and one in suede, and then it comes in two different blacks a suede and I got the nylon. The Miu Miu boot, which is here, is a lambskin leather. So they, it only comes in leather and it comes in really pretty colors. It comes in a pretty yellow, a white, and I wanna say one other color. Skin leather, it feels amazing, phenomenal, 10 out of 10. This is nylon, which is also very nice for summer. If you're wondering why I'm sitting here with both pair, it came down to comfort and 
quality and fit. So I got these and literally wore them. I took them to DC, wore them that weekend. And on the way home from that trip, <laughs> I ordered these. Wearing the dupe made me realize how much I love these, how easy they are to wear, how, much, how many other things I would wear them with. Um, it also made me realize that this nylon, it just wasn't a good fit. But I have really tiny, tiny ankles and very weak calves. <laughs> um, so this just emphasized that it kind of bunched up and it just didn't look as sleek. I knew the leather would just feel better. So I got the leather and I was like, you know, if, it, if it's not a huge difference, I'll, you know, return them and just stick with these. <sighs> but I got these and they're amazing. So the back is closed. I do prefer that. And then this is a round toe. That's a square toe. I do prefer the look of the round toe. And then it just came down to comfort. These are super comfortable. And for me, this made sense to invest in. I have fashion weeks coming up. It's nice to have, I love a boot in the spring, summer. Like that, it's just that kind of girl. So I was like, I'll wear this now. And I'll wear this into the fall. Cause I just like the look of a boot, but the sandal part makes it appropriate. It's ridiculous for some people, but it totally made sense for my style. So this one, I'm going to give to the designer version based on fit and based on comfort. Um, next up, let's start with what I'm wearing. This is a dupe. I know, I know you're all wondering, but we've talked about the Kate. We talk about Kate a lot and we've talked about Kate dupes before and we've talked about how much I love Kate and that it's just like a ridiculous amount of money, but you really can't compare it. So after my LA trip, I wore a Kate top the really cute white skirt and we all loved it. And everyone was like, we need a dupe. Like, please stop playing with us. So I went out, <laughs> I went to Pixie Market. I bought this dupe and I'm just gonna give you the pros and the cons of both. Fabric, material, amazing. This feels really nice. It kind of like sucks you in just like the K top does. So I was very impressed by that. Um, this does come in white and black, just like the K top does. I got it in white, obviously, because I already have the K top in black, which I'll pop up. So I wanted to get something I actually needed and would wear. Um, so the arm, this whole silhouette, which I feel like is usually where people miss, very similar. Um, the other one goes off my shoulders a bit more, but this is as close as I found. Like that has the same neckline and this part, which really kind of makes it feel different and even has like the wider silhouette on the arm. This is all major keys. The biggest draw or I guess issue I have with this shirt is the cut at the bottom, which I'll pop up a picture of the Kate one. Uh, but for me, it's such a flattering shape. Um, and makes it more versatile, right? I can tuck that shirt in and it could just look like a regular shirt, which I have this one kind of tucked in. But when I leave it out in the front, that's a big design feature that I'm sure Pixie Market couldn't copy like the entire thing. But that is the one of the biggest draws of that shirt. That is why I love it so much. Not only does it fit great and I love the neckline and I love the sleeves, but I love that little shape because it makes any outfit I pair with just a little more interesting. So that's the only miss on this shirt. But if you love the neckline and the shape and just like want to show off your shoulders, this is a great buy. I'm going to give it to the designer version because that detail, that design detail that I talked about is very important to me. And that's why I wear it so much. This is a close second and for the price you really can't compare. So, all right, next up we have a three way designer or dupe. We're comparing the Dior book tote, Perla tote, and then Brother Steve We've talked about the Dior tote before. Um, she's pricey. She's over $3,000 um, for just cotton canvas. Um, you know, there's no leather involved. Um, you get great structure. It is a very structured bag. You can customize it and, and it comes out every season. Really pretty colorways and prints. <sighs> but for me, I just never, every time I look at one, I'm like, it's so cute. But just like, no, not for, for, no, not for that price. I just, I immediately know. So the first dupe I found was the Steve Madden one. So here's what I'll say. If you enjoy the look, right? Like that's your draw to the Dior tote, right? That you really like this little detail. You like the colorways. Cause this comes in a ton of colors too on Steve Madden. Then this is the tote for you. If you are drawn to the structure, usability, this is not the bag for you. You can put it on your arm, which you cannot do with the book tote unless you have like really teeny tiny arms, but even then it would be like right under. Um, doesn't have great like structure or support. It's very flimsy. The furlough one, 
So that one is, I wanna say under $100. This one is gonna be $350. I think you can tell an immediate difference just in structure alone. This is comparable to the Dior Tote. Um, and it even has a one-up that the straps or the handles are real leather. This is stunning. This is stunning. So I'm gonna have to give it to the Duke, but specifically the Furla one. I think the Steve Madden one is cute for just like day to day. If you just like, again, the look of it just looking very similar to the Dior tote. Or if you like the structure of the book tote and you want a really quality bag with really nice design detail, this is amazing. While we're on the subject, let's just go ahead while our Dior D-Wade dupes and compare them to the Dior D-Wade slides. Now the Dior version, they come out every season just like the book tote. So there's, I mean, a plethora, there's something for everyone as far as how intricate or how simple the design can be. Um, the Steve Madden ones is pretty much just this design and I wanna say maybe seven or eight color variations and then they all say different cities, which I think is really cute. What I want to tell you is that the comfort of this shoe, because I feel like anytime I talk about Steve Madden shoes, people are like, oh, but they hurt my feet so much, they're so uncomfortable. This shoe, I wore this also on my last trip. So the white slides I wore on the way back, these I wore on the way there. And I remember stopping in the airport and telling Josh, this, these shoes are so comfortable. There is so much cushion, and especially usually with flat sandals, I don't wear them when I need comfort. It's just like a cute thing, but they're not. This was amazing. This was amazing to wear. So it's, it's the dupe for me. Next up, oh, we have sunglasses. Oh my God, I almost forgot. I have the Loewe. I had these for quite some time. They are so cute. And I found a dupe that's super freaking cute from where else but free people. I wanted to get something that I needed and wanted to wear. And I have a bag that matches these sunglasses. So let me show you what they look like. They're cute. They're cute. These are slightly smaller. Um, outside of that though, it's very similar. The shade of the tint of the lens is usually better, right? This one is like a little kind of like black and smoky. This one matches the actual like frame of the sunglasses a little more. Both are equally lightweight, so that's good. I hate a heavy sunglass. I'm gonna give it still to the designer because I do, this, I do like a more oversized frame. That's my final answer. <laughs> I went searching for this bag because I was recently in YSL and I saw this bag and I thought, let me, let me not pull the trigger, let me think about it a little bit, but it piqued my interest. So when it was time for this video, I was like, let me find a dupe for this. YSL canvas shoulder bag. You should be seeing a picture here. And this Charles and Keith bag. Stop. I don't need the YSL bag. The brown that I'm showing you, this comes in brown. And actually I think this one is also on pre-order now because I've had it for about a month. But the brown that's just like the YSL is in stock. So I'll link those both below. I wore this on my last trip. This was a part of my airport outfit because it matched my shoes. Uh, this is so nice. It says Charles and Keith right on the front, has a little clasp. Um, this is canvas and faux leather, of course. So that's what you're paying for. I think it's under $100, like maybe $60. For the construction of this bag and the look of the canvas and the look of the faux leather, you cannot beat that. The YSL version is linen, cotton, and leather, and it is $3,200, or you can get this one for $60. Again, if you like, I wanted a more understated bag, that's what drew me to the YSL one. It almost reminds me, I mean, obviously it's a YSL dupe, but it also reminds me of like the Celine box bags, and I kind of missed having a bag like that. So if you just like that look, this is amazing. So I'm gonna go with a dupe on this one, because I'm very happy, and I haven't thought about that YSL bag since. So who won, the designer or the dupe? I, I, I'll put them on the screen, I'm not sure. If you wanna see more designer or do videos, I will link the last few right at the end of this video. They should be here or maybe here. Thanks for stopping by, see ya.